The penultimate round for season 2011 had more than just a hint of finals atmosphere about it, with third placed East Fremantle hosted by fifth placed Subiaco. Neither team could be guaranteed a place in the top form, despite being the two form sides of the competition. They had to come to together today, lock horns, and just before the finals, they had to get a win on the board in order to make sure of a finals appearance. Well, Subiaco got out of the blocks a little bit better than East Fremantle and started to play some pretty good football. Brad Shepard coming off half back, looked pretty sharp, and a long goal from him. Got East Fremantle on the board after they started sluggishly, but Subiaco were always in the hunt. Despite good handball by East Fremantle, Shepard again directing his foot pass pretty well, kept East Fremantle in the, in the play. And though they conceded early goals to Subiaco, a brilliant goal from Tom Howlett, one of the goals of the season, got them actually in front at quarter time. They led by just three points. Michael Ricks did brilliantly in the ruck for Subiaco. Chris Phelan was outstanding all day. And there's Ricks again combining with Phelan, who kicked a long goal after they trailed by three points. At quarter time, Subiaco were able to get back on top in the second quarter. It was closely fought, although low scoring. Adam Cocky did some uh, great things. He and Mitch Brown coming together and showing terrific courage. Ben Randall was instrumental, playing well down the ground from half back. And the premier goal scorer of the competition, Blake Broadhurst, was in pretty good form. Although he uncharacteristically missed some easy ones, he still finished the game with four goals. Good work here from Brock O'Brien, a great snapshot. And the Sharks were still about the place at half time. They trailed by just eight points. But it was really in the third quarter that Subiaco blew the game completely wide open. They kicked six goals to just two in that term. And you see great desperation there. The chase and run down by Brad Stevens, The insp inspirational work from players like Stevens and also Bristow. And a long goal from Reese Bletchenden. And Subiaco in a trice stretched an eight-point half-time lead to 34 points at the last change. The Sharks looked tired. Subiaco continued to apply the pressure. Bristow continued to his great form. So too did Kerr, Ricks, Pickett, and then Sean Hildebrandt in consistent form as he always is, kicking the goal there that really sealed it for Subiaco. And they ran out big winners in the end, 13-17 to 8-9. The last goal of the game kicked there and Subiaco winners by 38 points. And there are the quarter-by-quarter quarter differences. Three points to the Sharks at uh, the first change and then consecutively eight points, 34 points and finally running out winners by 38 points, 13, 17 to 8, 9. A great victory by the Lions. Next week we travel down to Fremantle Oval the last home and away game of the season between South Fremantle and East Fremantle, round 24, and we'll be on air at 2pm.